Hello, good day to you. It's me, Andy, and talking really. Something that um, crossed my mind the other day when I saw this graphic, uh, which I'll show you. This is to do with uh, disability hate crime and the virus situation that we have with face, face nappies and the wearing of um, exemption uh, tags, which obviously identify you as different and it does obviously there is a a theory there that you shouldn't have to and you obviously legally you don't but you shouldn't have to anyway because it does uh, it does remind you of um the star of david which was um a thing in germany so obviously identifying you as a jewish person with the star uh, so you could be identified as a bad person and obviously these tags you don't have to wear them but they are the sunflower um strap with the badge saying that your face covering exempt and a lot of them have been for sale they've obviously made a load of money out of this i just wanted to uh, add to that comment because i saw this uh this graphic and it says it's a reminder that Many disabled people are exempt from wearing face masks. No one should feel intimidated for not wearing it. Uh, although you do, put it that way. Always assume people without masks can't wear one, rather than when they won't wear one. Uh, in my opinion, that's um, also true. No one needs to prove their exemption, despite the fact that some of the... Um, Security staff need some training in that matter. People with hidden disabilities are more at risk of hostility. Verbal abuse and hostility towards disabled people can be a hate crime. And obviously this is covered by the law 2010. Now the interesting last comment that uh, was shown on that is quite appropriate and i read it i thought yeah it, it goes against what people say about face masks because they're supposed to say that the face mask face nappy protects other people well, what this says is uh your own face mask covering will keep you safe rather than everybody else so if they specified that a long time ago that it wouldn't matter whether you wear one or not because if you're wearing one it saves, keeps you safe why worry about everybody else and the argument is that they're wearing them to safeguard you and because you're not wearing them you're not safeguarding them which is contradictory to what's being said there so that's very interesting now what they are doing is encouraging you to report uh any occurrences of hate crime because it can be dealt with uh legally and it is a criminal offense anyway so hopefully but whether the police are interested in this i don't know they they claim to be in my experience of trying to get some help with a hate crime mm, it doesn't really go well put it that way they i mean in my case they expected me to do all the work and find out who was who, where he lived well i knew who what i knew his name but i didn't know you know exactly where he was in the world and i didn't know his address but we did find him in the end and it was uh, his own downfall for in his case because he actually uh phoned my um mobile number using a word to help number a bit of, bit of detective work and my my prov network provider was legally obliged to give the police the withheld number so he got found out via making a call to me uh, which he obviously thought he could get away with and did not uh, understand that even if it's a withheld number it's still got the number uh, but they wouldn't they wouldn't give it to me but they would give it to the police which is uh, fair enough Anyway, so disability hate crime, if you suffered it, then do do put a comment down below. Let's, let's hear about these, these cases that you've had verbal 
or physical abuse because I'm very interested. Um, me personally, I can't say that I've had any yet, but it's early days. <laughs> Have a good day. Catch you later. Bye for now.